today I have a really fun video for you and it is a makeup look. It's a day to night look incorporating one of my favorite things makeup wise and that's glitter. And at night a lot I find myself you know playing around with different makeup looks and I always you know play around with so many fun glitter colors but it's not something I really go for day to day because I find that they aren't you know suitable for day to day wear. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and it is my entry for the 2014 NYX Face Awards. Woo -hoo! So definitely make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up because that counts for like 20% of the voting things and I think this would just be so amazing. So I'm going to jump into this look and I hope you guys enjoy. For foundation, I find that the Rebel and Color Stay works awesome and it lasts all day long. So I'm just applying a few dabs to my face and then I'm going to blend it out with this Real Technique sponge. I really like this one and it's a super affordable dupe for the beauty blender. Time to conceal some dark circles and I love this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm also doubling it kind of as a highlight by going in this triangle motion. That way it's kind of a matte highlight. I don't want it to be too shimmery since we are having the glitter eyes today and I'm just patting it in. You don't want to rub too hard otherwise it's just going to kind of all go away and not serve its purpose. So next I'm using this Bare Minerals Powder and I love this stuff. It's going to set your makeup and especially with this day to night look you want your makeup to last all day long. Next I'm using this NYC Sunny Bronzer which is one of my all time favorites. Again it's also matte and I'm just going to very lightly contour my cheeks. I don't want it to be too distinctive right now. And then I'm going to go in with this blush which is my favorite part probably and this is from Hourglass and this is the Dim Infusion. This is just going to give us a natural glow and it also has a bit of highlight in it too which is why I wanted to go on the matte side. I love applying blush because then you get to smile all big and proud at yourself. <laughs> Next I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz to fill in my brows and I love this because it's really natural. I like to start towards the bottom of my brow because that's the spot that's naturally darker and then kind of gradually work my way up because the top of your brows are normally a little bit lighter. Next I'm just going to go in with some eyeshadow primer which of course we got to have if we're going to day to night and this is just going to make your eyeshadow last all day long and be really bold and vibrant. I'm using my NYX Caviar and Bubbles for eyeshadow today and I'm going pretty neutral with a gold shimmery color on my lid. Next I'm going in with a little bit darker brown and what I like to do is kind of build my way up. So I start with a big fluffy crease brush and apply it all over and then I'm going to go in with a smaller crease brush just so it's a little bit darker, a little bit more defined but it also smokes it out as well. And since we kept everything else kind of neutral, we're going to go with the shimmery highlight and I'm just using this white mixed with the shimmery pink color and applying it under my brow. Now a little trick I love to do is take some cream concealer on a little brush and then we are going to really define that eyeshadow. I just go along this natural line that's connected to my lower lash line and just draw it straight out, kind of like you would with a cat eye. And then we're just going to add concealer and blend it out with our fingers and it's going to give us a nice defined edge. So then with the gel liner, I'm going to go in and line my eyes. And I'm doing this first. I feel like I have a lot of control with gel liner. So I'm just going to wing it out, get it nice and pretty. And this is just going to give us a really smudgy eyeliner look. I follow that same line that I did with the concealer and just make a wing. It's really important to have like a point of reference when you do a winged liner. And then to make it even more bold, I'm going in with the liquid liner and this is the L'Oreal telescopic one. And then I am just going to go over that and the gel is going to like kind of peek through on top and give us a smudgy look. Now this Sephora eyeliner isn't very pigmented so I'm going to dip the wet brush into this NYX pigment and it's going to help the pigment kind of stay in place and I'm going to line my eye above the black liner and to about the middle of my eye. We're going to go back and fix it later but for now we're going to take this matte black eyeshadow and apply it in the lower outer corner of our waterline. 
So now I'm going back with the liquid liner and just fixing up any glitter that fell onto our black line and this is going to make it look super precise and really pretty. So then I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some false lashes which I think is perfect for this look. These are from Ardell and they're really natural looking. These are the 110 I believe. And then I'm just going to apply a thin coat of mascara and apparently I cannot apply mascara very well on my lower lash line on camera. I'm sorry guys. So next I'm just taking this new lip gloss. This is from Whitening Lightning, so yes, it lights up as I put it on, so that's kind of cool. And this is our completed day look. Alright, so it's nighttime, and I am going in with some more glitter, of course, in the inner corner, about to the middle of my lower lash line, kind of where the top ended. So then I'm going to line my lips with this NARS Jungle Red Lip Liner, and it's really important to line your lips when you're using a bold color, that way the color doesn't kind of creep into your little crevice lines around your mouth. So it's going to help everything look really nice and precise. Then I'm using this Rimmel Kate lipstick and I love this stuff. This is in the color 09 and this lasts all night, all day. It's really great. I love this lipstick line. And then I'm going over it with this NARS lip gloss in the color Norma just to add a little bit of shine. And there we go. If you guys like this video, if you end up trying it out, please send me a picture. I would love to see. Also, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it and cross your fingers for me. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all next time. Bye!